And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Guys, I hope you're all well. Before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Guys, in today's video, we're going to be discussing why the club have been sparked into immediate negotiations after a Jurgen Klopp green light. It's very, very exciting news. As I said, we will discuss that in today's video. What's also giving you a quick guide to our Europa League opponents. Yes, everyone's getting uh, excited about the Champions League starting, but our Europa League campaign starts this campaign as well and I know there is some Liverpool fans that are used to those trophies in the cabinet behind me however as I've said I don't begrudge the Europa League and I think it's a competition that I'm excited to be in um, you know it is what it is it's better than no European football personally I believe um, and it's a competition I want to do well so I'm going to give you a quick guide to our oppositions and all the rest of it as well uh, whilst also going through a few other bits and pieces within the Liverpool space but let's start here with Curtis Jones yes Curtis Jones has joined a rare Liverpool group alongside only two others. Curtis Jones became the 223rd Liverpool player to reach 100 appearances for the Liverpool first team and only the 22nd to do so under Jurgen Klopp. He hit the major milestone after our 3-1 win over Wolverhampton Wanderers and as I said he is the 223rd player to do it ever, which doesn't seem that impressive. However, when we go down a little bit more, it does get a little impressive uh, with regards to the situation. Given he's only 22, he made his debut back in 2019. He has struggled with injuries and all the rest of it over recent years. Um, however, the interesting thing is here with regards to that, is that he is the only um, third academy player to break the 100 appearance mark since Steven Gerrard. Yes, the third academy player to break the 100 appearance mark since Steven Gerrard. The other players to do so are Trent Alexander-Arnold, who is currently on 227, and Raheem Sterling, um, who of course played 129 times before moving to Manchester City. Beyond those, the next closest is our Steven Warnock, who had 67, Martin Kelly, who had 62, Jordan Ibe, uh, who had 58, Jay Spearing, who had 55, and John Flanagan, who had 51. But what this does highlight is how difficult it has been for the academy players to really not br only break through, but to beset as long-term options for the Liverpool first team. As I said, Jones signed a new long-term contract in November, uh, tying him to the club uh, till 2027. He doesn't turn 23 until January, but as I said, he is um, a player that year speaks of very very highly so yeah uh, big congratulations there to big Curtis Jones um, for of course becoming the third player since Steven Gerrard uh, from the academy to make a hundred appearances for the football club what an achievement just a quick one guys to tell you that this video is sponsored by Slick Gorilla Slick Gorilla is the leading men's hairstyling brand that offers high quality and innovative hair products it has built a cult following by blending trends creativity and style successfully disrupting the men's hair care industry they are offering all LFC News viewers 15% off all their products, so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description. Anyway, let's get back into today's video. In other news, speaking of academy graduates, yes, Trent Alexander-Arnold is set for uh, contract talks. Uh, the club have been sparked into immediate negotiations and what reports are stating is that it will be concluded by the end of the year and Trent Alexander-Arnold will be staying at Liverpool for the long-term future. Now, there was a 90-minute report. Look, I don't believe 90-minute word they say, but basically they were stating that Barcelona and Real Madrid are interested in the player horse crap honestly it's just that time of year where they're trying to kind of get the clicks um, there's nothing in that at all Barcelona Real Madrid I'm sure they would like a player like that but he's never going to leave but what there is truth is with regards to Trent Alexander-Arnold is that he is set to sign a new contract of course Fabrizio Romano spoke about it as well today in his uh, Tuesday column on court offside and basically said some reports claim that Liverpool and Trent Alexander-Arnold are set for new contract talks uh, one feeling that remains is Trent loves Liverpool Liverpool want Trent to stay. The feeling is mutual. I think they will continue together for the future. As I said, reports are stating that the club um, are set to offer him a £250,000 per week uh, deal, uh, which would be a £70,000 increase on his current uh, take-home pay. Um, it is believed the talks between the club and the 24-year-old are progressing very nicely, and the Reds are hopeful of tying the right back down um, for the long-term future just before Christmas. So very, very exciting stuff there with regards to Trent Alexander-Arnold. Uh, that's been confirmed by Fabrizio Romano and other reports. I wouldn't believe the Real Madrid and Barcelona 
debacle stuff. But one thing is for certain, the club have been sparked into immediate negotiations and no negotiations are currently ongoing over Trent Alexander-Arnold extending his stay at Liverpool Football Club. So very, very exciting stuff on that regard. Now, Europa League. I know it's not the glamorous name. I know it's not that as beautiful as those six trophies behind me. <laughs> uh, don't worry, guys. We'll be back there next year. We should be trying to get number seven very, very soon. But look, the Europa League is um, something I don't begrudge. I think it's a very, very good competition. I've spoke about it a lot of times. Um, but basically, yeah, let me just talk about some of our opposition going into this one. Um, so basically, yeah, we've got um, three teams in our groups as I said we should be winning six out of six let's be perfectly honest however here's a quick guide to some of these teams because some of them you don't really know an awful lot about so the first one being Lask uh, their manager is Thomas uh, Sadja key players is Robert Suji who is the captain and top goal scorer another key player is Andres Andred who's a centre-back and Florian Flecker who is a right midfield form this season is they're currently third in the Austrian Bundesliga 14 points from seven games four wins two draws and one loss um, as I said, Liverpool kick off their European adventure with a trip to Austria to face Lask in what will ever be the first meeting between the two clubs. Uh, Lask did finish third in the Austrian Bundesliga last season and secured their spot in Group E after beating, uh, sorry for pronunciation, Zurinsky Mostar over two legs in the final qualifying round. It isn't the first time the Austrian side have come up against Premier League opposition. They faced Manchester United in the round of 16 back in 2020. Um, so yeah, interesting stuff there with regards to them. Just to give you a little fun fact before before um, I move on to Toulouse is that last have just one senior international playing for them compared to Union saint Gilles, who have six, Toulouse who have seven and that player of course is Andrea Andrada who plays for Panama. Now, the next team is Toulouse. Their manager is Carlos Martinez. Key players are Zacharia Abacolo, who's a right winger and the top goal scorer this season. Ramazus Nicholson, who's a centre-back, and Vincent Sierra, who is also the midfielder and captain. Form this season currently is their 13th in Ligue 1. Six points from five games, one win, three draws and one loss. Unlike Lask, Liverpool have played Toulouse before, having met them in the Champions League qualifier back in 2007. Rafa Benitez steered his side to a 5 aggregate win on that occasion en route to the third semi-final in four years. Toulouse finished 13th in Ligue 1 last season but secured their spot in Europe thanks to a surprise success in the Coupe de France, thrashing Nantes 5-1 in the final. Another fun fact for you is fans may remember the French side's current president, Damien Camoli, who worked at Liverpool as a director of football between 2010 and 2012. Now the final team is Union Saint-Gilles. Their manager is Alexander Blessing. Key players are Dennis Esker, who's a striker and top scorer, Christian Burgess, who's a former Portsmouth centre-back, and Anthony Morris, who's also the goalkeeper and captain. Form currently this season, the ninth in the Belgian Pro League, 10 points from uh, six games, three wins, one draw and two losses. Now, playing in European competitions is something of a fairy tale for Union saint gilles who were only in the second tier of Belgian football just three years ago. They returned to the Belgian Pro League after a 48-year hiatus in 2021-2022 and cemented themselves in the top flight with a third place finish last season. Liverpool could have met them in the last season's Champions League had Rangers not knocked Union St. Gilles out of the qualifying round before being drawn in Liverpool's group. Uh, the Belgian side have reached the quarter-final of last season's Europa League, but it was former Liverpool Isha, uh, Liverpool player Xavi Lonzo who put an end to their unbeaten run, beating them or managing by a Leverkusen. The fun fact that for this one is the meeting will be a family affair for Alexis McAllister and his brother Kevin, who signed for Union saint gilles this summer. So there you go, guys. A bit of fun for you. As I said, I know there's not so much news, but I do like to bring out content. I do like to talk about our beloved football club. So I hope you enjoyed that sort of run through a quick guide through our oppositions in the Europa League. Um, so yeah, if you did, guys, enjoy it. Uh, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and let me know your thoughts on, firstly, the Europa League, and secondly, Trent Alexander-Arnold signing a new contract imminently thanks guys and remember to check out our channel sponsors slick gorilla they are offering all lfc news viewers 15 percent off all of their products limited time only guys um as i said this is a product i use on a day-to-day -day basis how i style my hair so do get uh, and make the use of their discount 50 percent off limited time only link is down in the description thank you guys until next time take care peace